here at the Denver Auto Show. We've got the all re, all uh, redesigned 2025 Ford Explorer. And actually Ford is getting ready to do a little narration on it. So we'll li listen into that. Welcome to Ford. My name is Danielle and I am over here by our all new reimagined 2025 Ford Explorer. Nearly 35 years ago, Ford debuted the Explorer and wanted to have that distinctly pioneering American spirit to get out and explore embodied in a vehicle. Well, that spirit led to the Explorer being the number one all-time best-selling SUV in America with over 8 million sold. But a lot's changed in three decades. We are now busier than ever, and we all demand constant connectivity. So we asked our Explorer owners what they wanted in a vehicle in a fresh new spin on their favorite vehicle. Now I'm going to introduce you all to the reimagined 2025 Ford Explorer. So it is rugged, capable, connected, and most of all, ready to explore. After all, it's in its name. So we've redesigned the interior. It is meticulously crafted, warm, inviting. Every surface is soft to the touch with colors inspired by the American landscape, such as Mojave dusk, Marble Canyon stitching, and a salt crystal uh, gray, which is available here in this platinum trim level. Now, we wanted to make sure that Explorer drivers were more connected, more comfortable, with features like an artfully embedded wireless smartphone charger and a standard 13.2 inch touchscreen. And it still has those same three rows for passengers, pets, and cargo with USB ports in all three rows so that everyone is enjoying the ride, whether it's a cross-country family vacation or carpool movie. The Explorer also has Ford Digital Experience that allows folks to have access to their personalized digital life directly from the vehicle or from their smartphone. Now they can do all of that while listening to their favorite podcasts, music, uh, and audiobooks from Amazon uh, Music, Spotify, Sirius XM, 360L, and they even have access to our incredibly fast 5G wireless connection that is available with our Ford Premium Connectivity Plan. Now, this year is the first year that Explorer customers are going to have access to Blue Cruise. That is Ford's hand-free driving technology on multiple, multiple miles of a North American highway. And that means that there are a lot of automated features that just by flipping the turn signal, this vehicle will automatically switch lanes. Other premium advanced features include a terrain management system with six different drive modes. And there's two more in our all-wheel all drive vehicles. Those are gonna be sand and snow, as well as Ford, um, Co-Pilot 360 Assist Plus for all of those safety and tech features. And last but not least, we have a much more bold, toned, sharp, and athletic feel to our 2025 Ford Explorer. And especially when you notice the front grille pattern as well as in the back, we have wraparound tail lamps that converge into that nameplate on that completely redesigned lift gate. Much more details now. And we now offer a 3-liter EcoBoost engine that boasts a very muscular 400 horsepower. And the Explorer can now tow up to 5,000 pounds. And that's going to help you get out onto the open road and especially out on those less traveled. So yeah, as you can see, much much different styling. I mean, there's a lot of similarities, but I like it definitely more of an aggressive look. As you heard her say, there are a lot of upgrades to the interior. The rear end has been redesigned, which I think gives the Explorer a lot cleaner look. I like the rear end with the taillight. Taillights kind of extend across. It's not an across the back, but it gives that appearance the way they've got it. And then Explorer obviously is their smaller three row SUV, which is pretty popular amongst families. If you can't afford the Expedition, you can look at the Explorer and it gives you an opportunity to get into a three row SUV for your family without having to pay 80 something thousand dollars. So there you go, all new 2025 Ford Explorer Platinum. Hi, uh, the Salt Plus out in Utah. 
There you go, we can get a little look in the inside. Rear seat, this one's got the rear bucket seats in the center. So hopefully we'll get our hands on one of these. We can look a little bit more extent, uh, extensively and get a drive in the coming days. Is the rear open up as well? No? It's locked? Yeah. Okay. Very good. All right, there you go. There's the interior of the new Explorer.